just so you know, no tools were dropped in the pit in the making of this video. Success. It smells dusty. It smells a little dusty. It's like Irish Spring. It takes your breath away. If I sound like I've been chain smoking cigars, it's because I've been sicker than a dog. Um, I've been down about a week. Bronchitis, maybe. I don't know. They didn't test me. I didn't go to the doctor. My wife went to the doctor. They told her she had bronchitis. I don't know what I had, but it wasn't any fun. So today is a crappy day outside, so it's a good day to do some stuff inside. And so we are going to replace some of our last... Um, water meters with wireless ones. So I just finished this one. Here's the old one. We're going to do the same thing to the top. We're going to replace that a wireless uh, barn tools water meter. And I, I thought it was going to be a little bit simpler because I thought I could reuse these fittings that are already screwed in. However, they are just enough different size on the threads that I do have to unscrew these. But still, it's a pretty simple deal. And the other really nice thing about it is when we're done, we can get rid of a bunch of wires running back over here and it'll just make a nice cleaner install, so. So now I got these wired up and um, I'll be able to get my water usage right on the Barn Talk app. So some of you might be wondering, you know, why are you doing this? So this is a new product for um, barn tools, and this is the second barn that we've put them in. And the simple, simple answer is it's wireless. We don't have to maintain the wire going to the control because that has its own issues. Um, my old meters, I had a couple of them that weren't read, reading, so it was time to replace anyway. So going from wired to wireless, and then it's a digital readout on the meter versus this and hopefully we won't have the same kind of problems that we had with the other ones. Um, you can see your history, you can graph it, um, just better technology. So anytime that we have to replace something and we can get better, it's a no-brainer. And so if you're looking to upgrade your barn system, your alarm system, your water meters, um, check the link in the description and contact Barn Tools. We got one more problem we gotta take care of this morning. So I'm gonna show you the way it's supposed to work. So you can see this, this light's lit up and this is a, this is a more automation proc switch and that's what's supposed to shut the feed off. So anyway, the, the way everything is supposed to work is the feed is supposed to fill up and when it gets to this eye, it shuts it off. If this doesn't work, up here in the top, there's an old time pressure switch on the back of this box and that'll shut it off. And I'll show you what the problem with that is. If this doesn't work and this shuts it off, the feed packs in here and then it doesn't fall down and the next time that the time clock says it's time to feed the pigs, it doesn't start. Slowly but surely, the last feeder always takes a while. Okay, so there we go. Oh, almost. We almost had it. We almost had it. Here we go. Okay, so there you go. Simple. Works really good. Kevin Moore, my buddy Kevin Moore, shout out to you. What do you got to always have? Got to have a bucket. Got to have a bucket. So here we're on the other side from where we were, and the feed system shut off, but you can see there's no light on, no feed in the tube. And the reason is because this switch is not shutting it off, and if you can see, this is full of feed. And so there it restarted. But if I wouldn't come knock it down, what would happen is I'd come back here this afternoon and these feeders would be just about empty because right now with the pigs this age, the system is supposed to run twice a day, once in the morning and then once about, I think about one o'clock in the afternoon. And it would not have restarted. It wouldn't have restarted until I came back and checked it. Either this eye is bad, or there's a relay in this box. 
and I've done these long enough to know these eyes don't usually ever go bad. So I have in my handy dandy bucket my screwdriver, wire pliers, and a new box, but all I need is the relay out of this box. They don't sell just the relay, you gotta buy the box. But they're really nice boxes and I use them for all kinds of other stuff too. We're gonna open this box up. Hand-eye coordination torque. Schematics. Don't need those ever. Nope. So here's my relay. And rather than rewire this, I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna pop that out of there. You're just gonna take that whole thing out? Yep, so take this one out. And then put the new one in? Yep, so I'll tell you, a lot of people think that, you know, learning to wire stuff in a hog building, like, that it's, in, it's kind of intimidating, but the beautiful thing about it is, if you don't know what you're doing, as long as you take it apart one wire at a time and put it back one wire at a time, you really can't go wrong because it's all color coded. <laughs> Once long ago these were white, but they're not white anymore. But so I'm going to undo that. So, let's make sure it works. Before I close it up, I like to make sure it works. So, anyway, I knocked the feed down. It's just like the other one. Now, I'll show you one thing you can do if you want to check it out and you don't want to wait for the feed. And I've loosened these clamps, but that's what it looks like on the inside. There's my eye. That so shut. So that tells me it's working so I can go ahead and put it back together and once in a while these do go bad um, but it's it's pretty rare the eyes are usually not the problem it's usually the relay box the relay so I guess if you've got one of these if one of these relays uh, and you're looking at paying somebody a hundred and fifty dollar trip charge and fifty dollars an hour to come change it you might just go buy the relay and see if you can do it yourself. And it's just one wire at a time. Make sure your power is shut off. I just had the power off of the box. But you do have to be careful because that switch only breaks one side of your 220. So you still, if you're just starting out, you might want to shut the breaker off. But my short little legs, I didn't want to have to go all the way back to the breaker box. Ta-da! Back in business. And just so you know, no tools were dropped in the pit in the making of this video. Success. Okay, so today, it's a beautiful day. We've, the first, like, one of the first beautiful days we've had. So, uh, we got a lot to get done for us to get our podcast studio to be full time. And one of the first things we've got to do is get these two old feed rooms cleaned out. And that one we got done. This one we've got pretty well scooped out, but the biggest issue is that above these rooms in the front of this barn, there's three, I think they're 10 foot wide by 16 foot long, flat storage bins that when I was a kid, we used to put oats in them or beans in them, and then we got the privilege of scooping them out so you can see I've... So this one, I got it empty, and this bin, the bin here, probably only has like a little bit of stuff in it. This bin, which is the middle one, I haven't quite reached the bottom of it yet. It just keeps running. I don't know how long it's going to keep running. And then there's one more on the other side of it that I feel like might be about waist deep in oats from about 1980. I don't think the germ's very good on it, so it's probably going to get dumped in the compost pile. But this is what you used to feed the sows, because Grandpa made this barn. Yeah, so in its heyday, it has, this, it has this outside elevator on it, 
and at the top there's a motor in there that's probably only maybe it's maybe it's 10 horse but it's like this big it's ginormous and there was a hopper that you stuck in here and it had a motor on it because here was the plug for it so we would put oats or corn or beans in those overhead bins you'd auger it up there and dump it in the bins and then you could just fill your buckets out of either one of those or there's a slide each bin has a has a hole right in the dead center of it and you pull that slide and there was like a there was like a tube that you put on there and then you could swing it out to the door so yeah in 19 in 1949 this was the state of the art but today it's going to probably be one of the offices for TDF media if we can ever get it cleaned out. We're going to try to do the easy part first, which is as much oats as will run out, we're just going to let it run out. So in this room beside us, you saw this still had oats running out of it. And this tube here comes from the same bin as what this slide here is. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to get this slide pulled out and we'll just let this drain and whatever it comes out, we'll shovel it and dump it because it doesn't have any feed value. It's been up there so long that I doubt it's, I imagine it's pretty rough. So. The hinge is broke off. You want to try? Yeah. Here, I'll hold the camera. Oh, there you go. Now can you grab it? Party How's that? Does it taste good? Not really. Does it taste like Quaker? It dusty. Okay, that's good. Just uh, it's a slow pour. Well, I'll just I'll get grab you a bucket. Here, talk to the people. It's raining oats, folks. It's raining oats. The great equalizer. There you go. It smells dusty. It smells a little dusty. It's like Irish Spring. It takes your breath away. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're not in any hurry. I'd say that's a problem. Yeah, I'll just let it go. Okay. Hope a coon doesn't just pour out of there somehow. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if a rat doesn't fall out of there. It's been a while since we've been up here. We've moved our podcast studio to the garage for the winter because it was too damn cold. But this spring we're going to make our way back up here and it's going to be nice to be back in our stomping grounds because it's always a vibe up here when you're shooting a, a farm podcast in the barn. So, can't wait. Here's where the bins are. In here it's pretty solid and it gets pretty hollow. Pretty solid, pretty hollow. What's the dream, Dad? Well, I think there's three of these bins, so I feel like one of them, one of them could possibly be the podcast. We could put the table in one of those rooms and make it the, so that'd give us this space, or we might, we'll probably make one of them our office where we edit and actually bring our stuff over here and then one of them has got to have a stairway because the the bourbon deck goes up on top so eventually you're, our you got to have a john dutton spot yeah we're going to take the hay mow door out and make that windows and that's going to be the john dutton lookout up there so when we have sam elliott on the podcast we can sit up there and have a have a little snort of bourbon and Top ponder life's questions. Okay, we're on top of the John Dutton drinking spot here that we visualize <laughs> and Dad's got the doors open to all three rooms and the one he cleaned out watch out don't fall there I'm gonna get in there. The one he cleaned out is Definitely the most empty out of all of them. It's got the least amount of oats in it this middle one here that we let all we opened up the doors on it has 
I'd say quite a bit. What do you say there? Waist high? I'll tell you in a minute. Oh yeah, let's see let's see how high. So what it's about waist high? Yeah. And then this one over here that we haven't even touched yet, you can barely see. It's pretty dark over there, but it is definitely the fullest one. So we got our work cut out for us. Definitely got our work cut out for us. But man, when we when we do what we want to do with these, we can make it look really, really cool. All I know is I gotta wear a damn mask when I do this because I get so much dust in my mouth and my nose if I don't wear a mask. It's not no it's no bueno. So Yeah, you just keep digging. You just keep on digging, Dad. I just hope you let me out. Don't shut the door on me. That would be really messed up. When they say they're throwing you in the hole, this is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, this is us our going to the train station. We lose all va entertainment value if we locked you away. <laughs> I got you're, that going for you. You're me. too valuable. Thank goodness.